Hi there. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about carbohydrates. More specifically, we're going to ask how much sugar is in a can of soda? Sugar, let's remember, is an important type or a form of a carbohydrate. We're also going to ask how much sugar is in fruit juices? And finally, we're going to end with ideas on delicious and healthy drinks. So let's move on to our first question, which is how much sugar is in a can of soda? The size of the can is 12 ounces. Well, to answer this question, we're going to play a video in which a teacher conducts an experiment to determine how much sugar is in a can of soda. So let's watch. How much sugar is there in a can of soda? So how are we going to figure this out? I'll tell you one easy way. Take a can of soda, we pour it in a pot, we boil it until all the water's gone, and what we're going to be left with is the sugar. And then we can weigh it. You can see that the pot weighs 371 grams to start. So we pour the soda in and we put it on the stove. Now if you're a kid, you need to get an adult to help you here. But you turn the stove on, you let the soda boil, and the water is going to all evaporate. And what you're going to be left with is this sugary syrup at the end. The spoon has about three grams of sugar on it. And then in the pot, there's going to be about 34 grams for a total of 37 grams of sugar in this can of soda. So here's the funny thing. We didn't have to do all that because they're nice enough to actually tell us how many grams. And if you read it, it says 39 grams, which is really close to the 37 grams that we calculated ourselves. See, it says it right there. In the video, we saw a three-step experiment to determine the amount of sugar in a can of soda. The first step was to weigh an empty pot. In the second step, we poured the contents of the soda can inside the pot and then we boiled the contents. And once all of the liquid had evaporated, we weighed the remaining sugary syrup to determine the amount of sugar in the can of soda. Well, the other easy way to determine the same answer is to read the package label. What you're looking at now are nutrition facts from Coca-Cola's website for a 12 ounce can of Coke. And if we zoom in, we can clearly see that there is about 39 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce can of Coke. But what does that mean? Are 39 grams of sugar in one 12 ounce can of soda too much sugar or too little sugar? Let's find out. We know that one teaspoon can contain about 4 grams of sugar. By that measure, we can say that 39 grams of sugar is equal to 10 teaspoons of sugar, more or less. So that means that a 12 ounce can of soda has about 10 teaspoons of sugar. Now let me ask you a question. Would you ever eat 10 teaspoons of sugar ordinarily? Probably not, right? Also, can you identify any beverage at home made by you or a family member that has this much sugar? Odds are such a beverage doesn't exist. So clearly, 10 teaspoons of sugar in one 12 ounce beverage is way too much sugar. And that causes a lot of harmful effects if we drink that much amount of sugar on a regular basis. And we're going to discuss those harmful effects in just a bit. But let me ask you another question first. Which is, how much sugar is in a bottle of soda? The size of the bottle is 16 ounces. Now what we can predict even before looking at the package label is that this 16 ounce bottle of soda has got more sugar than 39 grams which was the amount of sugar in a 12 ounce can of soda, right? Well let's look at the package label. This is the package label from Coca-Cola's website uh, for a 16 ounce bottle of soda. Let's zoom in to see the amount of sugar it contains. Wait a minute, this suggests that there is about 27 grams of sugar in it. That's interesting. Is it possible that a 16 ounce bottle of Coke has got less sugar than a 12 ounce can of Coke? No, that's not possible. What we have to do is read the package label a little bit more carefully. Everything that you see in between these two horizontal bars is the amount per serving. And the manufacturer suggests that there are two servings per 16 ounce bottle of Coke. That means that if you were to drink the entire 16 ounce bottle of Coke, you would be consuming 27 grams times 2, which is 54 grams of sugar. So, in a 16 ounce bottle of soda, there are about 54 grams of sugar. No matter how you look at it, that is a lot of sugar. And let's be honest, this excessive amount of sugar in our beverages is what makes them extremely delicious. What we are interested in discovering now, however, 
is if this excessive amount of sugar consumption has certain harmful effects as well. Well, it turns out it has a lot of harmful effects. What I can tell you right off the bat is that sugary soda has got no proteins, no vitamins and no minerals. It has got only sugars and that is why it is sometimes referred to as empty calories. Plus, consuming sugary drinks on a regular basis rots your teeth, has a bad effect on your bones and it gives you bad breath. The problems associated with excessive consumption of sugary drinks don't end there. Studies have shown a positive correlation between consuming sugary soft drinks and obesity. You know, there is an obesity epidemic happening in America right now. In the mid-60s, about 45% of the population was classified as obese. Now, it is more than 66% and sugary soft drinks are one major reason for that obesity epidemic. Finally, it is now known that sugary soft drinks increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. People who consume one or more servings of sugary soft drinks per day are nearly twice as likely to develop type 2 diabetes than those who rarely consume these beverages. Here are some of the effects of type 2 diabetes. In the short term, it increases urination, thirst and hunger. In the long term, it increases the risk of heart disease and causes kidney failure. Type 2 diabetes is a serious disorder. Excessive consumption of sugary soft drinks increases the risk of type 2 diabetes. So by now we have rammed home the point that soft drinks have too much sugar. For instance, a 12 ounce can of soda has about 10 teaspoons of sugar. And if that is too much sugar, then that begs the question, what is a recommended or healthy sugar intake per day? Well, the recommended sugar intake is no more than 6 teaspoons a day for women and no more than 9 teaspoons a day for men. You will notice that a 12 ounce can of soda has more sugar in it than the recommended sugar intake for the entire day. Therefore, I suggest that you skip the sugary drinks and drink healthier alternatives instead. Some people think that those are fruit juices. There is no doubt that a 12 ounce glass of fruit juice is a lot better for you than a 12 ounce glass of soda. That is primarily because a glass of fruit juice contains minerals and vitamins and a glass of soda has only sugar. It has no minerals and vitamins. But it is important for us to understand the amount of sugar that exists in one 12 ounce glass of fruit juice. Fruit juice made out of let's say oranges. So to answer this question, let's read the package label. The package label suggests that there are 26 grams of sugar in an 8 ounce glass of orange juice. By extension, that means there are 3.25 grams of sugar in an ounce of orange juice and 39 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce glass of orange juice. Wait a minute, that is exactly the same amount of sugar as there is in a 12 ounce glass of soda. Well, the best way to try and explain this is to ask the following question. How many oranges does it take to make a 12 ounce glass of orange juice? I did this exercise at home and realized that that depends on the size of the oranges but the answer is somewhere between 4 to 6 oranges. So when we are drinking a 12 ounce glass of orange juice, we are consuming somewhere between 4 to 6 oranges. But when we want to eat real oranges, how many do we generally eat? Probably just the one, right? One way to explain why a 12 ounce glass of orange juice has got excessively high sugar quantity is because it has got juice from a lot of oranges. The recommendation when drinking fruit juices is to mix 12 ounces of water with about 2 ounces of fruit juice. This way you can get all of the benefits of drinking fresh fruit juice and avoid all of the harmful effects that come with consuming excessive amounts of sugar. This is just one of the many low sugar drink ideas I want to share with you. I recognize that it can be extremely difficult to completely eliminate sugary drinks from our diet. I know this because till some time back I used to consume a 20 ounce bottle of soda every day. But once I realized the harmful effects associated with consuming so much sugar, harmful effects like obesity and type 2 diabetes, I started looking for alternatives. The following alternatives have worked for me. I hope they work for you as well. The best low sugar drink idea that I can give you is to drink water. Water provides everything that your body needs with zero calories. But for some tastes, Plain water is just too plain. So what you can do is add citrus fruits like 
lemon, lime and orange to your water. You can even add crushed fresh mint or add peeled and sliced ginger or cucumber to your water. This will make the water more interesting without adding a lot of sugar to it. Another idea is to drink tea. Tea as you know comes in several varieties like black or green, caffeinated or decaf. You can always add a teaspoon of sugar or honey to your tea to make it sweet. Some teas taste sweet to our palate even without adding any sugar. These are Japanese roasted barley tea, fruit flavored herbal teas or teas that feature cinnamon or vanilla. We've already spoken about mixing 12 ounces of water with about 1 or 2 ounces of juice. You can always add a sliced citrus fruit or fresh herbs to that drink. Finally, you can make fresh fruit coolers at home. The ingredients are half a cup of ice, 3 quarters of a cup of water, it could even be sparkling water, a third a cup of melon or berries, and chopped mint leaves or citrus slices. You can place ice, water and fruits into a blender and then blend it till it's slushy. Pour the contents out into a glass and then garnish with uh, mint leaves or citrus slices. This will serve one person. I hope you like some of these low sugar drink ideas and can replace the sugary drinks in your diet with some of these. In the next video, we're going to conduct a debate. A debate on whole grains versus refined grains. See you then.